We are glad to welcome you on a hard reset YouTube channel and today I'll show how you can calibrate or recalibrate this XL Ranger X7 Plus drone. So to start make sure that RC drone everything is switched on and connected. Now connect your drone to your phone also we have a whole separate video about how to do that so if you have any issues or questions regarding this stage check the aforementioned video out. Now launch the Fly Ranger app on your phone, go into Prepare to Fly section. Here let's make sure that everything is connected properly. Well it should be, even though I do not see this Wi-Fi connection icon for some reason, but well, what can you do? Let's go into Wi-Fi settings and confirm that, yep, the connection is here. So what's the deal? Yep, everything is 100% connected. So once again, go into the prepare to fly section. Uh, now, once you're ready to calibrate everything, tap at the calibrate button here. And once you see this uh, animated arrow, rotate the drone two or three times uh, horizontally as shown at this figure here. So do the following movement. Rotate it horizontally. Do that a few times. And you know that you are past this stage. Once this uh, preview, pictures, uh, preview picture begins, it's animation also. So let's continue spinning the drone here. You might want to do that clockwise or counterclockwise. Here it is shown to be Clockwise, yep, so the horizontal calibration is finished. As you can see, the arrow from the top uh, picture moved to the bottom one. So now place your drone vertically like that and rotate it as shown at this picture. So. so rotate it. I mean, it's shown that you should do that like two to three times, but in reality, as you can clearly see, it takes way more than that. Maybe we need to flip it also and do the calibration this way, since it is written that the drone should be uh, pointed downwards. And I, I would assume that the front part of the drone is considered to be the part that has the camera. So this way it looks downwards. So let's try to spin it that way a few times and see if it will lend us any results. Anyway, once this step is completed, hit the next button. Now place the drone on the flat surface as shown or as written here or as instructed here. Uh, now tap at the start button once the drone is placed at the even, on the even or flat surface. So start, or well not start the drone. Uh, that's not the button you should have pressed, obviously, because it just brings you to the um, flying interface. But let's, I guess, repeat this process again, since the last time it didn't went well for me. So, yep. Let's repeat this procedure. Now let's also try to repeat repeat the vertical calibration. Let's 
I was able to calibrate it off video, so I have, to be perfectly honest with you, I have no idea why it causes me those issues now, but, or actually it went through successfully this time. So yeah, probably if you have the same problem as I did, just, uh, well, re-initialize the calibration since the software for this drone and the drone itself uh, are of very poor quality. So those glitches and bugs may occur from time to time. That's completely normal. Anyway, so uh, the horizontal and vertical calibrations went successful. The compass should have been calibrated successfully as well. Uh, here, let's repeat all those steps. So we've placed the drone on a flat surface. Uh, now we got to clip the calibration button to calibrate our drone. So let's try to do that. Yeah, it didn't seem to work. And yeah, you ha you needed to press the button that is other than the uh, let me show it to you once again. As you can see, all those instructions and steps are very really poorly made. They're uh, counterintuitive and they just work like uh, crap. But well, that's, once again, that's fine. Here, uh, once you place the drone on a level surface, just tap at the step two button here and well, the calibration will go and will be performed. And that will be it. That pretty much means that your drone has been calibrated or recalibrated successfully. That's actually a decent thing that the first uh, attempt went poorly and I had to restart the uh, calibration procedure mid video. And uh, well, why is it good, you ask me? Uh, because if you will encounter the same issues, now you will know how to counter them and well, fix them. Anyway, as far as this video goes, that'll be it. If you have any questions left, do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.